You know, I've, I've never loved holidays. That Christmas magic, that Christmas spirit, it's never quite found me. Christmas always felt more stressful than anything else. You know, a lot of it felt a little fake to me, like let's all pretend that we love each other and this is great for this one day a year. But a week later, we'll be back to the same fighting and yelling. I grew up with an alcoholic father who just, because of that disease, caused a lot of pain. My dad left when I was 12, and my mom was working two and three jobs to keep us afloat. I got a job when I was 14, um, but we were kind of in this constant cycle of just trying to make it. Uh, middle school, I, I was killing it. I had straight A's, I was on the basketball team. Um, as soon as high school hit, I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't focus. On the outside, most people didn't know. I held it together pretty well, um, but every day was a struggle. I used to write on my math papers. I hate my life every day, over and over. Um, and I was just uh, really, really struggling. The one thing I really did enjoy was music. And so after high school, I went off to college to be a music teacher, but my problems followed me. So I started to cope with drinking and uh, inevitably that made everything a lot worse. I mean, at that time, I didn't even really know what depression was. I never knew that just simply being alive and breathing could hurt that much, that I could be trapped just in this, this room, this prison of pain, of hating who I was and not wanting to be alive. And, you know, late at night, I, I would start Googling um, suicide. And more and more of those thoughts crept in. Um, more and more it became something that I was actually thinking about. So then in November 2011, everything just really hit rock bottom. This girl that I'd been in love with in college was marrying somebody else. I really hated my job, felt like I was terrible at it. I just couldn't take it anymore, and I couldn't see any way uh, that things would ever get better. And so I gave myself an ultimatum. I decided that on December 25th, on Christmas Day, either I would take my own life or I would never think about suicide again. Like, enough was enough. So I woke up on Christmas Day. I put a note on the bathroom door that said, please don't come in. And uh, I sat on the floor for most of the day, just sobbing. Um, finally, late in the afternoon, I was staring in the mirror and uh, I just started counting backwards from 10. First it was 10 and nine. And I remember seeing all these images of my friends and my family and these happy things in seven and six. And I remember seeing just the worst moments of my life of abuse and neglect in five and four. Finally at three, uh, this question broke through, just this, this feeling, it was like, have you really given life everything you've got? I'm not sure that you have. Something in me changed. It was just this like feeling in my chest of, of I mean, I guess I would call it hope. Um, now I would call that God. Uh, and finally, uh, late at night, I sat in this abandoned parking lot in downtown Minneapolis and I just watched the minutes tick by. 11.58, 11.59, and midnight. I had made it. I had decided to stay. Before the attempt, I definitely knew who God was, but I definitely didn't invite him in to how I was living my life. And I knew that there had to be a better way of living than the way I was. And so I just cried out to God. I just said, God, if you are real, I'm gonna need you to show me how to live a better life. It certainly wasn't an instant fix. Like I wasn't instantly healed of depression, suicidal thoughts, but I believed that with the help of God, I actually could change. I could pick up the pieces. And every time I took just a little baby step in following him, uh, and whatever that looked like, whether that was in the counselor's office or into church when I didn't feel like it, every step just was this slow process. Um, and I woke up seven years later at, at 30, and, and life's pretty good. Today I teach elementary music to first through fifth graders, and I love my job most days. I started my own ministry. I get to travel all over the country and talk to people and kids who might be battling depression and suicide and, and tell them that there's hope. And through all of it, just the trajectory of my life 
changed. That moment when I decided to, to truly follow what God had for me. I don't talk about it much, but Christmas Day is always just a day now that feels like a second birthday. Now it's this day that I not only celebrate that God sent Jesus in the world for us to help us, but it's this day that, that God showed up for me and, and saved me and gave me a new chance and a new life. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving Hope is believing that tomorrow will be better than today. No matter what that looks like for you, no matter how hard things are, how good things are, it's just knowing that God can and will meet you there, and He's gonna He's gonna bring you something even better than you ever imagined.